Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the rollout and release of the new Outlook for Windows, as many of you may know, because we have spoken about the new Outlook quite in depth on the channel, so in line with that, if you want more info, just do a search on the channel for Outlook. But uh, with the release of the new Outlook for Windows, uh, Microsoft did strip out and remove quite a lot of the basic functions that were previously available, as an example, in the Mail app and previous versions of Outlook. And uh, um, the new Outlook for Windows, just to do a quick recap for today's video, is available for download from the Microsoft Store. And um, eventually will replace uh, the Mail and Calendar apps. And also it's very similar to Outlook.com. So basically it's a web app, a progressive web app. So it's a PWA for short. And because it is a web app, uh, Microsoft did remove a couple of the um, so-called basic features. Now, according to a recent announcement by Microsoft, which by the way, I'll leave down below because it will give you a full list of uh, features they are working on and also features they have already added. Um, Microsoft, due to um, user feedback now, could be returning some of the requested features as an example like offline support, which they removed in the new Outlook for Windows. And uh, um, they are working on a full list of new features um, that will be released throughout next year, 2024. Now, first of all, my next point is, um, I don't know why Microsoft is waiting, though, if these are requested features, um, some of these are requested features waiting for next year. I don't know why they just don't bring back, as an example, offline support and PST support um, straight away. But nonetheless, if you are interested and want to stick around, I'm just going to rattle these off um, quite quickly because it, there is quite a long list. But here is a full list of the new features that Microsoft will be rolling out next year in 2024. And as yet, they haven't given us an exact timeline. And um, all of these features, or even individual features, there's no exact date and time. But nonetheless, there is the full list rolling out throughout the course of next year, 2024. Auto capitalization, collapsible headers in the message list, conditional formatting, copilot, drag and drop emails and attachments to the desktop, dictation. Preserve declined meetings, EML file support, file tab in Outlook search, folder reordering, inking, draw tab while composing an email, MSG file support, offline support, which is a requested feature, Outbox folder, picture formatting, POP3 account support, that's another one, PST file support, that's another requested feature, message recall, SMRME, Save as for attachments, choose folder to save to, share local files from Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, shared calendar notifications for work accounts, Teams tab in search. So that's the full list of features that will be rolling out throughout the course of next year in 2024. Some of those are requested features. Some of those were previously available in previous versions of Microsoft's Mail um, clients. And now they are returning uh, due to, obviously, um, user feedback but nonetheless i'll leave that announcement down below but just wanted to let you know about that that um those new features will be released throughout next year 2024 so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one